Well, here I am at Blackbrook Park. It's about uh, quarter after five. But I'm finally getting a chance to get out here and try for some muskies. It's the Apple River here, but it's still kind of dark. It's going to be a great sunrise. We got the canoe over there. I'm going to shove it in the water. I went and bought this uh, musky reel and, and rod just so I can cast this lure here that uh, Duke and Pia sent me from Sweden. I'm not sure what you call it, but it looks pretty enticing. We'll give that a try to start out with here. Looks like I'm going to have to switch to some top water. There's a lot of weeds in here. Now it looks like the sun's almost up. But I noticed a few comments on uh, one of the fishing videos um, about keeping smaller fish, smaller bass, and and uh, just the general comments about uh, catching and releasing versus keeping fish. Uh, we're part of the ecosystem here, and the Department of Natural Resources here in the United States uh, manages wildlife. And that's what our uh, our fees for our fishing licenses and hunting licenses go to is to pay the DNR to manage the wildlife. Uh, if everybody was to catch and release, uh, the especially the lakes would would become overpopulated, and the fish would would go out of balance. Um, but also, if everybody was to catch and keep would also uh, thin out the fish but the DNR regulates that um, they do shock tests uh, they shock the water and stun the fish and then get a count on uh, you know get a per get an idea of how many fish are in a lake and then they regulate they change the size limits and the bag limits and stuff accordingly to help manage and uh, keep the fish, uh, the lakes um, balanced as far as the fish count goes. So um, I know it's it's you know recommended to throw fish back, but if everybody did it, it, it wouldn't be a good thing. Um, there's nothing wrong with keeping fish. Uh, I'm a, I'm a believer in following the law, though. Uh, never keep more than you're supposed to, or don't keep fish out of the size limits and uh, the DNR does a really good job of managing the wildlife uh, especially the fish in the lakes and stuff rivers are a little different they're kind of they're more hard to regulate but I still think they do a good job and everything but I just wanted to uh, talk about that uh, help some people that don't know that 
that the wildlife is regulated and we're part of the ecosystem so you, know, you take the fishermen out of the equation and it'll it'll affect uh, the fish count and everything so but anyway I keep I keep bass because I like eating bass um, I won't keep them you know at this time of the year when it starts getting towards the end of the summer I'll, I'll usually throw them back but but uh, smallmouth I, I'll keep smallmouth for sure because those are good I, those are better than, than largemouth in my opinion Didn't look all that big, but it's kind of hard to tell. Oh yeah, looks like it, we might have a muskie here. Oh, looks like a northern. I just might have to keep this one. I don't have any northerns yet this year. See the sharp teeth in there? That's why you don't want to put your hand in one of their mouths. Yep, it's not a bad northern. It's got some good fillets on it. That's going in the cooler if it'll fit. fun I was kind of hoping for a muskie but I'll try it again this looks like a good spot Well, I'm below the dam right now, and I'm going to wade down along the shore here and uh, see if I can't pick up smallmouth bass. fish in here and that's what the smallmouth feed on but of course they're gonna get in a jitterbug this morning
day. I'm back from fishing. But uh, all I got was that northern. But here it is. It's got a nice color to it. Uh, the red fins there. And it's dark. It's got good color pattern on there. But yeah, that's going to make some good eating right there. That'll be two meals for me. I just got done cleaning the northern here. I just want to show you what's left. Graphic. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this all that's left is just the the bones, the head, and the entrails. And I got these two slabs of meat to show for it. So yeah, it paid off. I just got to cut the flays off the skin here and then uh, I'm going to save one for a meal today and then one I'm going to put in the freezer. Cheers.